Hello, this is uh, the hoof bag here. Um, we're doing hoof bag electronics, and in this instance, we are doing um, uh, a solder, a non soldering electronic project. Now, I'm building an amplifier here for a guitar for practice purposes, but of course, um, you can use the same board for many other purposes in electronics. For example, um, you could build a fuzz box or you could build an oscillator for the purposes of driving a uh, bridge, what they call um, a capacitance bridge. Now, what I've done here with this piece of wood, let's think it's about a quarter of an inch, what's that in millimetres? It's, well, it's that thick. <laughs> and let's get the old trusty measurer. All right, where's the millimetres? Sorry about that. Right, millimetres. Um, What's that would you say that's about um what well, it says one centimeter is that right by um about nine and nine centimeters yeah, just about. times um 16 centimeters but what i've actually done is i've got a couple of battens what they call batten softwood batten glued them together across this and then put some um, what are they called? Uh, staples in there to hold it yeah. together from a staple gun. Now, it's not always necessary to drill the holes first, but it's a good idea because this kind of thing happens here. This is one I built earlier. It does work, but I thought I'd start again and oh, do a neat to job of it. Right, so um, this is what we do. We drill holes. It doesn't have to be perfectly accurate. You simply hit and miss, doesn't, doesn't matter, does it? it's not terribly worried about accuracy. Drill's going flat, as you can probably hear. <clears throat> okay, I would stop that for a moment and we'll go back to it oh. right I've put all these this this um, one inch matrix or 2.5 centimeters if you prefer matrix um, isn't really necessary but it helps keep things square and it looks tidier important thing to remember is don't use pencil why is that <laughs> That's because pencil lead conducts electricity, um, whereas pen doesn't. Um, yeah. Okay. You don't need all these screws here. Um, I'll just put extra in. Anyway. This is a 27k resistor, which is fitting, going beneath these um, screws. Mm -hmm. This is the output transistor. can be a bit fiddly, but it's worth doing. Can't see Tighten that up. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Right, another another interesting point is if you can get hold of a... I mean, there's loads of them on eBay. This is a box containing a uh, 64 ohm speaker. They're quite, there's quite a few of them on eBay. I've seen a couple of quid, about three quid, something like that. Don't worry about the capacitor, that's for another purpose. It simply sits in there. There's a neat little box. So what we're trying to do here is build a two transistor practice guitar amplifier. So in other words, you want to, um, it's a cheap way of getting hold of a, a practice amp. It doesn't involve any soldering as we've discovered. Well, why, why avoid soldering irons? Well, okay, the first thing is that they, they get hot. Stating the obvious. And when you burn yourself, it can be extremely painful. And also, there's nasty fumes that are given off by soldering irons. That's not much nice. That's not a lot of fun. Um, 
for anyone who has an allergy to those things. I'm actually taking um, components off the other one. Now that is a 270k. You're cannibalising it. Yeah. Well, simply because I know that one works, but I want to build an entire one um, in this instance purely so that we can demonstrate how it's put together. We've got now this is a 0 .0, 0 0.012 capacitor. Pops under there. Um, let's just take some of these out. We don't need these here. These are spare. These are for other circuits. You see, the whole point here is that we use um, the same board for lots of different projects. So I'm going to use that one as a means of terminating that capacitor. It goes under the washer. There we go, like that. That tightens up. Anyway, another point is, um, I should mention that the washers are um, like this. The outside diameter is 9.5 millimetres. The hole is 5 millimetres. Right, we've got the screw. The screws are 14 millimetres long. I mean, it's not absolutely uh, essential that they're 14 millimetres, but it's a good way of starting. 14 millimetres long. And the thickness of the thread is three millimeters, and the screw head is six millimeters. Now, you may have some difficulty obtaining the exact type of screw, but the important point is that the screw doesn't go through the hole like this. You see, pop the screw through there, and that sits quite nicely. There's no way that's going to go through. The other point to mention is if you look at a, cut a washer very carefully, that's where it's been stamped. Um, so it's got like a sharp bit on this side and this bit's smooth. For the purposes of making electrical connections like this, it's best to have the washer not that way round, not that way round at the top, but that way round, okay? So it needs to be down like that. So the curve is on the top. That helps a lot. Now with this uh, fairly thin copper wire, this is actually telephone wire that you can buy quite cheaply from places. I know that you know you can take it, find it in the street, but that might not be a good idea. But it's basically very thin copper wire, a bit like fuse wire. You could use fuse wire, I suppose. And they fit under there like that. Just um, don't bother about side cutters or anything. Okay, now the speaker. The speaker will go there, like that, onto this little resistor there, and then on there, like so. Anywhere along the top would do, would do fine. And then we've got the battery connection. Now the battery is negative. These are NPN transistors, so really we've got in what they call um, common emitter mode negative ground, which is by, by far the commonest um, configuration in electronics. Negative ground is almost never seen these days. And we pop that little wire under there, like so. Any reason for that? Um, it's just uh, better to have a um, what they call um, a standard that we all use. It, would, it was easier to build PNP transistors and it was hard to build NPN transistors so PNP transistors were more common and in common emitter mode which is what we're using here um, uh, it's much more, I want to say, it's easier. Okay, this is the two transistor um, guitar practice amplifier near completion. All we've got to do is first of all connect um, the guitar up. There we are. 
Right, here we go. This is to be a fairly clean sort of sound. Sorry about that. There we are. That's a two transistor, non soldering, no soldering guitar practice amplifier. And in the next um, submission, what we'll do is we'll add another transistor to increase the volume. And thank you, all you people on YouTube, for taking notice of what we do here. Bye, and thanks for watching. <laughs>